fate has played its hand, and now the die is set. I knew this child would play her part somehow, and it seems Gabriel has real help at last. It bodes well for our quest. The golem that protects the girl has something that could prove very useful in the end, something unforeseen. My dear friend, I see your destiny before me, and it is terrible indeed. And yet I have trust that all will be as I have hoped. For thousands of years, this city overflowed with life. It was a sanctuary of magic, wisdom, and harmony. These people were the ones that created the crystals, which you've already seen. They didn't need armies for protection. Their powers were enough to thwart any threat. That is, until the Lycans came. Then the balance changed. Trolls, goblins, gremlins, creatures of nightmare besieged the city endlessly, day and night. Most fled. Others used their remaining powers to create huge titans to fight against the invaders. The battle lasted centuries until there was no stone left standing. No one left. Those that did not die in battle were captured and devoured. My father was one of the last. He hid me. He created the Black Knight to be my protector. We have been running ever since. The Titans outlived their creators and stayed here fighting against an enemy that outnumbered them until even they were defeated. All except one. Behind those doors awaits the last of those Titans. The only way to reach the Sanctuary of the Dark Lord is through that door. We will have to defeat the Titan if we wish to continue our journey. The door will only open with the power of a crystal. You need to find four shards to create a whole crystal. We will wait for you here while you look for them. Behind that big door, the Titan awaits you. These statues seem to be here for a reason.
creatures can move somehow. Good work, Gabriel.